in the morning i was uh, surfing on tv and i hit a tv debate on the biography of uh, the great magician pc sarkar and while they were talking uh, in this thing somebody cracked uh, one of the participant cracked a joke about uh, written uh, in his biography that mrs sarkar she says mr he writes that whenever uh, i uh, he got angry she got angry it tells mrs sarkar the wife of that uh, i mean famous musician what he he will he will leave the house walk slowly around the block then open the door and toss his hat into the room if it was not thrown out again he would enter on one occasion because she was very angry and temper was uh, uh, made uh, made her obdurate to his overtures because why he had shattered two electrical light bulbs and at uh, her outburst uh, he left her house hastily and when he tossed his uh, as per his habit when he tossed his hat in before in- enteringly she Uh, promptly flung it out the uh, and the this performance was repeated at intervals every time he puts th- tosses hats in she is to flung it out until finally mr sarkar he didn't come for some time and then there was a messenger there somebody pressed the bell and there was a messenger uh, appeared with an envelope on which which was sent by mr sarkar and to be delivered in a uh, delivered to mrs sarkar and the person gave the uh, envelope and immediately disappeared and when she opened the envelope it was written out there within were these uh, you know the words that came mrs Sar- uh, mr sarkar wishes to inform mrs sarkar that the first globe fell out of the hand but the second one slipped he wishes to convey his sorrow and promises that the one that fell will never fall again and that's the reason for, uh, for being happy now you tell me shira she says how one couldn't be angry long with a husband like that my dear friend basically this talk give an idea a thought again a very normal routine of everybody knows do married people fight of course i feel they do does they mean they are uh, not in in love of course it uh, uh, it doesn't they are in love the more you actually the more you uh, care about uh, somebody the matter you get with him or her temporarily the bonds of matrimony my friend are not meant to be broken but there are times when it can be stressed a little so let me try today and share my views on how to fight with your wife and share some diabolical advices on how to harass your spouse and stay married still stay married and happy i can remember when i was little how my mother used to go on on board the patience of a saint but it wasn't until i grew up that i uh, learned that most saints were never married so how could they possibly uh, know anything about patience this uh, uh, i wondered then i wondered i know okay, why my mother never mentioned the patience of a father now now uh, there is a patience for you oh yes i say mother was patient but father was patient about all the things that mother was 
uh, patient about and in addition he used to be patient about mother too the mother used to say too that a uh, soft answer it uh, it is the uh, best uh, best way or it is thoughts away the all kinds of anger and wrath but i always thought that father system a gay answer was better later i discovered the best system of all and i don't mean uh, no answer for you uh, for you don't get anywhere in married life for not having an answer you only get accused of being an old surpass now i feel the secret of a happily married life without quarrel is always to have an answer but be sure it doesn't make any sense at all nothing infuriates a woman as much as uh, to be concerned with reason or unforgivable sin fenced with truth now i remember somewhere i think it was some uh, per- some person traveling from other city to uh, meet his friends who work, who evoked this magic formula which makes quarreling almost impossible with his wife uh, what happened one day uh, this friend who was coming in a train he missed he rushed over to this baggage room in a railway station threw his check on the counter and demanded his bag the attendant couldn't find it a precious minute went by and that friend he began jumping up and down with inarticulate rage on everybody else finally he couldn't stand it any longer and his train he missed his train he was going his bag was nowhere to be found and he pounded the counter with his fist and yeah pretty damn people where is my bag go it can't just fly off you no more uh, you are no more fit for uh, to run this uh, station these uh, uh, outlets checking outlets and ha- handling the baggage and before hearing this when anything of mine get Uh, he says he tells his friend that before hearing anything of his gets mislaid around the house which was uh, every time uh, his wife tidy it up he used to scream like a wounded uh, uh, tiger on his wife for anything is misplaced or anything is incorrect he realizes how bad temper was he was having but now he uh, he just yells pretty damn seldom where my baggage is where my papers go in the old days he 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 says that his wife used to come back uh, snapping him with him if you put your papers where they belong you will know where to find them which sheer nonsense as any husband knows where has ever try, uh, 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 who has ever tried it i found the answer to such an unreasonable remark was you no more can anybody tell his wife that you are no more fit to run his this house for god's sake which put her in a place and she learned to report but she learned to retort she will if you raise your voice that's all i hope the stopping all argument is the best answer to, uh, answer and move on as similar goes as for the children we never uh, the they never uh, quarrel any more about who is spoiling this child and who is dreadful things we are they are doing together uh, in future as they knew everything about it one of them husband or wife it doesn't matter who mary looks at the other at stage come and says in a resigned way you are not fit for children and for god's sake which nobody can deny my friend quarrels among uh, husband and wife 
they are temporary and transient but they must happen and they should happen that's strengthen their bondage even better all quiet is not good for health even thank you very much <laughs>